I have this part that I would like to edit, but it's a step file and it doesn't have a history tree. So what can I do to edit this? Well, fortunately, Libre has some good tools for direct editing. Maybe I can start by saying I would like to have one set of holes on these instead of two. Well, for that, a Libre can be able to remove face, which would help us to remove the features that we don't want. Perhaps I'll start by clicking on this bottom face of my hole. And once I click all the faces that are associated with that hole, it disappears. Likewise, maybe on this hole, I can try something else. I can try to infer pockets from seed faces. In other words, I'll click on a seed face and a Libre will try to figure out what the pocket is that I'm trying to get rid of. And sure enough, with one face click, it already knows how to get rid of that hole. So that's great, I've gotten rid of my holes, but now I wanna move my holes to be more centered. How can I do that? Well, I'll start by going with move face. And my preferred method is axis and offset. I'll select the faces that I think are important to move. I'll select an axis to show what direction I want to move them. And for that, I can go to view and I can toggle my reference geometry on and I'll select my Z axis. I'll move this a, an offset distance of 0.4, but of course I wish to move it the other way. And so I'll put a negative sign out front and that moves the hole to about the center. I can do the same. And just like that, I'm able to move my holes quite easily. Perhaps it would be preferable for me to revise the way that I have done my spring perch. Well, again, I can come in to my model, remove face, I'll infer pockets from seed faces. I'll select my bottom face here, and it knows how to eliminate that face. Then, if I want to make a change to my spring perch, I can sketch on this face. For convenience, I'll import some of the geometry with maintained association. Maybe I wanted to cut a new place for the spring to go. Well, I can choose an extruded cut. And I've been able to use my regular modeling uh, tools as well as direct editing tools to accomplish this edit. Likewise, maybe I'll change the direction on a, or change the dimension rather, on a valve seat. Well, for that, I can use a tool called Offset Face. I simply select the faces that I wish to offset and the distance I'd like to offset them. And a Libre will move the face the amount that I've specified. So now you can see this face is smaller than one of the older faces that I haven't offset yet. These direct editing tools work on multiple features. For instance, I can choose offset face on the face of this fillet here. Of course, that eliminated it completely, so maybe I'll go a bit smaller. And I was able to change the size of that fillet by offsetting its face 0.05 centimeters but I don't have to do an offset face every time. If I want to do multiple features at the same time, I can simply uh, select these as I go, all in the same command. So we've been able to edit the size of every chamfer with only one tree command. I'd also like to mention that we have now a history of our changes that we are able to roll back. We can edit the parameters of every item, just like we could if we were modeling the part from scratch. And we can roll the tree back forward. 
So we're able to edit parts using these direct editing tools. And when we wish to add features, we can also use our regular sketches and modeling tools to add features to our parts as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful and please subscribe to the Libra channel. See you in the next video.